Shalom, Shalom. In this video, I have many an information about blind faith versus faith with evidence. As you know, for example, blind faith, you know, you got the European Bible or the Green New Testament. The Green New Testament says first, very clear, there's a divine Son of God between parentheses and He's God in flesh, where there's no proof now so ever. So a Christian believe because it's written there. Because the word talk from many years for centuries, oh, it's rare in the New Testament, so it's the truth because it's the word of God. Well, actually, it's not the word of God. It was made up by Greek philosophers and Roman philosophers. But the Christian believe it. That's called blind faith because there's no hard evidence. They haven't seen a God in flesh. They haven't told God in flesh, no other. So called blind faith. Not even the other books saying that he was God incarnated and he created the universe or anything like that, besides the books of these Greek and Roman philosophers called Reading Testament. Now, her evidence, I can give you a sample like uh, you get a tree, right? In the park. And the tree is very old, 100 years. And so probably can last longer. But I'm walking around and the tree falls, right? And it fall almost in front of me, uh, making noise. And get, of course, you know, scared. Like I get shocked, you know, I just jump because it just, it just fall the tree, you know. The, well, then after that, it making noise. And some uh, wood fly a little bit. You will get some branches, you know, um, broken. Then after that, by the time I see somebody, like a month later, right? And I say to the person, you know something? I saw this tree in the middle of the park, like for example, Central Park, and it got fallen. I said, ah, I don't believe you. Yes, it is true. No, I don't believe you. Then I said, okay, so just go over there and see it. But it got, remember, it was like a month, a month ago, so everything is clean. But even though that is clean, it's gonna see some marks on the front where there used to be a tree. So see, you can see some shadow or marks of the fallen tree. So that's actually the evidence that yes, there was a tree there and it got fallen the tree. So that's the evidence. The, the marks and the shadow of, of, of the land when the tree actually got fallen. So that's actually the evidence. But for him it's evidence. So in my situation, I don't need evidence. Why? Because it's not faith for me. Why it's not faith for me? Because it actually happened in front of me. The tree fell in front of me. And so when it happened, and the noise that made when it got falling, and also the branches that got broken, I saw with my own eyes. I don't need faith for that. Because I saw it, I can't even touch it if I want to. You don't need no faith for that at all. But the other guy, now, you can say you got faith, but faith with evidence that actually something really happened. What's the evidence? The evidence, the marks, and small branches still there, even though it had been cleaned, the tree by the government or anything like that, they picked it up. We still got some stuff like the mark, the shadow of the tree. That's the evidence that actually it really happened. That's called faith with evidence. You want to call it like that. There's a big difference between blind faith, where you don't have no evidence that something really happened, or that something might, really might happen, um, with evidence that something really happened, with hard evidence. So that's the difference between blind faith and hard, and, and, you know, faith with evidence. That's the big difference. So Torah is not based on actually blind faith. It's based by archaeology. It's by hard evidence. That's what it's based for. It's not blind faith. So if you are based in blind faith, I recommend you to be much more with using faith, but with evidence. So this is everything. Hey, um, please uh, share and like my video. And to the same time, uh, share the channel and read my description. And to the same time, if you want to do a thank you, you know, the feature that I like, uh, share, like, you know, that when you go to the to the video, say like, share, all those features. Also, guys, thank you feature. You want to do like a thank you donation, you can also do it from there too. 
So let's hit shot until the next one. Thank you. Thank you.